This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's get right into the news. All right. So Keith Murray makes it clear that that video, because I was thinking the same thing. I was like, that video has to be old of him wandering around acting delusional in Long Island where he was obviously on something drunk or something. And then the next day he's performing at the hip hop uh, awards. I was like, nah. The way, uh, and he says he clarifies it was an old video that was not new. Fat Joe, the the fairy tale of all fairy tales, loves to talk about the beef with Fifty Cent in the past. Now they're cool now. He said, he said that I cannot believe he said this with a straight face. He said that the funeral homes in New York were taking bids. On who was going to die and the beef. I guarantee you on ev- on everything. It was not like that. There was tension between the two of them. And they were the two biggest stars. And not even Dipset. And, okay. Dipset and G-Unit were the biggest crews in New York City. Biggest crews at that time when they were beefing. Right? Terror Squad was cool, but it wasn't big like that, okay? I guarantee you it wasn't big like that, okay? It was big in the Bronx, but, like, it was never the same, like, after Big uh, Big Pun passed, you know? Like, Fat Joe was Fat Joe. Fat Joe's crew applied pressure, though, for sure. Like, that, they weren't anything to be played with, and... You knew people knew to keep 50 Cent and Fat Joe apart from each other, and they did. The only time they ran into each other was at like MTV Awards or BT Awards, and nothing really happened. I remember one award show, Fat Joe and his crew, some of them got chased down the road in Miami. That happened. Okay. Cause let's be honest, G Unit was the bigger crew, especially around that time. A lot of people from Queens were riding with them. And Fat Joe and them didn't really want that beef. Fat Joe wasn't backing down, but he wasn't going to go toe-to-toe. He would have lost. He would have lost, but it would have been ugly. So they really didn't engage like that. They knew Fat Joe knew and 50 Cent knew this was because of Ja Rule. It wasn't, because, it wasn't really them at each other like that, you know? Got a little disrespectful. D-Block was having beef with them too because they backed Ja Rule. Funeral homes were not taking bids, okay? I, 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 this guy, you don't know what's real and what's not anymore with this guy. You know, I'm, I'm like, nah. Fat Joe lies too much, bro. He does. He really does, bro. Wow. <laughs> it's, it's amazing sometimes how bad the lie gets. Like, bro. People are still alive from, you know, like that was not that long ago. Everybody, everybody's still alive from around that time. That was only 20 years ago. Not even. That was like 16 years ago. Terrence Crawford beats Errol Spence. He, he is a man of his word. He said he would do it. They, I think they bet a million too, right? After the referee stopped match in the ninth round, he won. He backed it up. I'll tell you that. Prime is sponsoring him, so that means that uh, Logan Paul is sponsoring him. Prime. Logan Paul is getting a lot of cash. Like, already we know he's getting a lot of cash. He's getting a lot of extra cash from that Prime. Glorella, I wonder if she knows. I wonder if anyone's told her that, hey, yeah, Yo Gotti just bought you a $200,000 Maybach. Or 230, whatever it is, right? But just know that came out of your budget, baby. <laughs> you paid for that. That's money that was generated from your album. Yo Gotti's not coming in his pocket and buying you a two hundred thirty thousand dollar Maybach. And it it's coming out of somewhere. These gifts are not free from the label. I hate to tell you. G Herbo. Let's read this. G. Herbo sentencing day for fraud case revealed after he pleads guilty. Now they're thinking he's going to do what to what. I thought they already decided this. Maybe it's a formality. 
It says, according to the plea agreement in the case, use the proceeds for these frauds to travel to various concert venues, advance his career by posting photographs and or videos of himself on a private jet in the exotic cars in the Jamaican villa. Let's see. Uh, it's been revealed that Herbo will be serving five years in prison for the crimes, has to pay a $250,000 fine. So what do they have to do? Facing sentencing on November 7th? So what does that mean? Agreed to drop various counts. Aggravated identity theft. Da, 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 da. Maybe it's a formality and they just give him the five years then. And then he goes away at that point. We'll see. Bronny is out and about. Uh, his father posts him playing on the piano. And, you know, he's thankful, obviously. I mean, he just went through a bad experience. You know, I don't know if he'll play basketball. They might recommend him not to play basketball anymore because of his heart. That's sad. And uh, Arlen McConan claims that he started this gay stuff. Okay, buddy. Have it your way. <laughs> Anyways, this is Jordan Tao with JT News. I'll check you guys in the next one. Peace.